Right, welcome to all. We're recording today's session, so I'm going to try and make it as upbeat and as exciting, not only for yourselves, but also for anyone that wants to come back and do this session if you can't actually join us live. So, sorry that I cut my head off, but actually my camera's lined up on my erg, so that's not my poor camera placement skills, it's deliberate. Right, so we have um, in this session a warm-up, um, our usual warm up, okay, so that means we're building the sequencing up from the back, um, hands, body, slide, etc., to make sure we get into that really good sequence. Bit of a neuromuscular wake up um, and helps us just to start to stretch out. And then we'll go into our warm up pyramid, which is a three minutes at half pressure, two minutes at three quarter pressure, and one minute at full. Just have a very tiny break to just jump off the machine. And if you want to open windows, etc., take the top off or set your machine. Today's a pyramid 26. So if you want to set your machine, it's 11 minutes. Um, if you want to do that recording for your um, training diary. Um, but in essence, it's a cardiovascular base um, session. And we're going to do three minutes at 22, two minutes at 24, one minute at 26. And then we come back down the other side with two minutes at 24 and three minutes at 22. Okay, and I've done some little graphics for you over here. And remember to smile. Key thing for us is making sure that we try and pace it right. So we come up the top um, and we come down the other side, the same amount of pressure pacing, um, but something that's hard enough that we are breathing pretty hard. Then we questions at the end and cool down while you're listening to questions, comments, stories or whatever. So it should be finished within the half hour. And then we go in to um, join Lucy and I will throw, throw the session over to her because I'm hosting Lucy if you heard um, that. Okay, let's get going, right. And if for any reason you can't hear me or my sound changes, give us a shout because I can't, with everybody busy going away I, on their machines, I don't know what I sound like. Okay, that's it, on the back of your slide, Nice relaxed position. Okay. Arms only. There we go. Yeah. Same speed in, same speed out. Nice relaxed grip. Point my toes a little bit. That's what I used to say. But now, because we've done all the sessions with Lucy, I know that that activates my glutes. So feel your activation of your glutes at the back of the slide. Keep your body back at that one o'clock position. That means that you're on the back of your seat. Yeah, absolutely right. We're going to hands and body this time. This one, go. So again, make sure you've got that extension of the arms before the body starts to move over. And I always say, that if you want to just double check it, because rowing is all about referencing. You could do a little bit of robot rowing and then to get the sequencing and then just smooth it out. Good work. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, moving to quarter slide. Quarter slide is our key reference. This one, go. Okay, so why is quarter slide such an important reference to us? That's because, and I say this every morning, every Monday morning, I apologize, because that's the point at which our body stops moving forward. We've taken that body, reaching forward yeah, to the 11 o'clock position. And it doesn't move after this. After the quarter slide, the only reach forward that we're gonna make is with the slide. Okay. Half slide change, this one. Go. Great work, yeah. Coming through that quarter slide reference, hands over your ankles, and so you just glide with the slide, glide with the slide. Okay, so three quarter pressure. Go. Sorry, three quarter slide. Sorry, three quarter slide. There you go. You know it's early morning. And as we just Start to, start to come out on the slide. Just feel that control just before 
as slow as you can make it without, without actually stopping. Okay, going to full slide. This one, go. Take a moment to shake everything out. Make sure your shoulders are low in the socket. A relaxed grip. And your hands are just hooking up, not gripping. Okay, so getting ready for half pressure. Go. So half pressure. We're going to start our session at 22. So that means our one minute in our warm up pyramid wants to be at 22. Just feeling that body relax into the rowing stroke. Keeping that good rotation and moving through the hips, from the back of the seat to the front of the seat, and then the glide on the slide. That's good. Just, um, I think someone's just joined us. Is there any chance you might put yourself on mute or someone pinged over? A little bit of noise coming from, from one of the machines. Great. That's good. Okay, so that's two minutes, got one more minute at half pressure. That's great. That's good. Just keep connecting, long connection. As you get more and more warm, feel yourself reaching out your reference points. It's relaxing. If you re recognize your muscles, if your body recognizes your rowing muscle, make sure they're relaxed in the recovery and switched on and connected in the drive. Welcome to everyone that's joining us. We're just warming up. Would you just make sure you're on mute as you come in? Much appreciated. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah, much appreciated. Okay, getting ready. Two minutes at three quarter pressure. This one, go. Just listen to the machine. And get a change in the noise of the fan. That's great. Welcome to everyone that's joining in. Great to have you all aboard the Dawn Patrol boat. It's good, we're three quarter pressure, listening to our body, listening to the machine, feeling the blood volume moving to the right part of the body. Okay, well, one more minute left at this. Then we will do our one minute at firm. And remember, so we're going to start the pyramid at 22. It's always worth putting our one minute in at 22. Straight from there. Okay. 
just thinking about the how the legs open in the dry phase. Initiate the catch. Then the legs and back. And then the last core of the slide to go. The legs back, body, the legs back and arms. Okay, getting ready. One minute, firm pressure. Go. Listen. Good work. I've just crept it up to 22, making sure I'm keeping the flow around the back end. Go from the back of my seat to the front of the seat. And then glide up the slide. That's great. Halfway through. Nice work. Last few strokes. Like, okay, so now's the time just to open everything up, open your windows, doors, and set your machine to 11 if you want to. If not, if you just want to row, I'll do the times for us and that'll make it nice and easy. We'll make the changes together. Excellent. Right. I'm going to open the world's smallest window. Oh, Dawn is just peeping out. Great. So it's pyramid 26, three minutes at 22. Two minutes at 24, one minute at 26, then back down the other side, two minutes at 24, three minutes at 22. Okay, let's make this happen. Great, okay, paddles up or handles up. Just waiting for some of the guys to jump back on the machine. Okay, cakes. Okay, getting ready. Go, draw, that's it. So straight into 22 strokes per minute. That's it. Okay, spend the first 30 seconds locking that 22 out. Keeping the puller, keeping the pull into there, but trying to make sure you've got a really steady 22. Not jumping around too much. If you just a pad below, to keep it sharp at both ends, especially with those hands coming away from the body. And if you're a tad over, just control that slide, ideally after you've gone through half pressure. You keep that momentum and accelerate into the catch. Okay, so once you're nicely locked in, start to try and get a consistent work rate, consistent split, but you know it's gonna be challenging, but not impossible. That's great. All right, we're coming up to halfway through the first Three minutes. Body's starting to be wake up. Blood's moving around. Definitely really good. Just to push through this a bit. It's feeling a little bit hard. It's just pretty much the energy system waking up. Especially our warm up's quite short. Okay. So we'll have a little bit of oxygen depth at the beginning. But full tilt, it takes about three and a half minutes for 
people got the aerobic system to open up completely. So for us, it's probably going to take had longer than that. Okay. Got two and a half minutes, half a minute ready to change. Remember, we're going to go to 24. Go to 24, we're looking for a speed change first before the rate change. Yeah, split's going to get better. Okay. We're going to do it with two draw. Okay, we're getting ready. This one. Go. How draw? Draw. Draw. That's it. You should get an increase in speed and your stroke rate should have come with it. You're really lucky. Those two strokes would have landed you spot on 24. Yay! Hey, that's what happened to me. Sorry. Okay. Nice change. That's great. Good work. We are flying this morning. Or maybe I've drunk too much coffee. Okay. Two minutes at 24. Right, I'm starting to feel it. Okay. Breathing starting to kick in hard. Okay, so four minutes. One more minute left at 24 before we commit to 26. Remember, no just thought that doesn't, you can't cheat rowing in essence. You commit, it will return in benefit. Okay. 30 seconds before we commit to 26. Keep the, keep the hammer down. Believe you can do it. Okay. Getting ready. We're going to power change. A little bit of a sit up if needed. Okay. This one. Go, raw power, raw power. Yeah. That's it. Settle down at 26. Lock it out. Keep the sharpness if you're dropping down to 25. Slide on the slide if you're just above. This is it. We are flying. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds, halfway. Right, we need the courage when we go down on the 24. Gotta hold our speed. Getting ready. Big power change. This one, go. Power, float. Just a touch, really coming down to keep the work. Yeah. Stay on 24. Let's hold that 24. Keep that work great. Power. First stroke. Every time. Commit. You're going to start recovering very soon from your number 26. 30 seconds down. One and a half to go. Good work. Keep that power there. Let it drop away. Yes. And one minute left at 24. That's good. Have a look at your average on your machine. Try and see whether or not you can keep the right side 
than your average. This is a beautiful challenge if you want to take it. Thirty seconds left before we go to twenty-two. When we go to twenty-two, we're going to be looking for a really good split. At twenty-two, we'll try and not let it die away from us. We're okay, getting ready. This one. Go. Let's draw. And float. Draw and float. If you're feeling up to it, make sure you're getting your weight onto the front of your seat. You're getting your body over early. So you can use that in the dry place. Oh yeah. I am so not going to be able to beat my average on this. Shows you I had a good pace. Went very close to the red line and I'm suffering for it now. Okay, 22, that's your target. Best split you can have at 22. Close to that average. And one pick off. That's good. Great work. We've got two minutes left. 44 strokes. That's all it is. You can do it. Take the quality there. Yeah. Hold it there. Yeah. I'm getting now I've recovered enough. That's it. Right on the right side of my average now. Good work. One minute left. Squeeze it out. Chase your average. That's it. 20 strokes left. Two tens. Make them good. Oh, yeah. All the way to the end. That's it. 11 strokes left. You can do it. Keep the power on. Last 10 seconds. Quality, quality. Down. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, that was hard. Um, I got, really enjoyed that. Got carried away a bit, but really, really enjoyed that. Excellent work, team. So, wind your step, wind down. Make sure you're doing your hands, body side as you wind down. A really great time to just work on that sequencing and I will just close up my windows so yeah so comments did anyone else do what I did today which was get a little bit excited it's a good thing to do to be honest I managed to recover well enough so maybe I was excited on the way up and wasn't concentrating hard enough or maybe just a little bit unfitter than normal okay Right, excellent. Does anybody else want to ask any questions? Does anyone else find it um, quite as hard on the way down as I did? Excellent. Okay. You can always put your stuff in the chat, guys, if you don't want to come on. Great. Okay. Wow. 
Glad I don't have to speak to. Yes, Alison, thank you ever so much for that comment. Normally I don't have a problem speaking and people usually say, how do you manage to do it? But I finally got to the point where speaking is start. So Kate was saying, I've committed more in the first three minutes. Um, thought that might be too much, but it held it through. So please, yeah, well done, Kate. I think there is this little bit, as far as this pacing is concerned, if you're really cautious and you never struggle on your way down, probably means you're not quite biting off as much as you could. Yeah, I always I always set up a bit lighter and wish I'd gone harder. So I decided to go harder today. Yeah, well, I think that's really brave. And I think, you know, um, often we don't know how we're feeling when we do these until we're halfway through. So being brave, because of course, as long as you don't stop, it's a win all round. Yeah, so Kate, thanks for sharing that. And I always prefer people who go off hard and struggle and people who go off too and then really push on in the second half because then it makes it a little bit asymmetric. But well done, thanks for sharing that. Um, Susie, um, first egg in two months, heart rate high, but it's in the bag. Well done, yeah, that's really good. James says, thank you. Peter says, um, thanks Gwyn, tough after a weekend of rowing. Yeah, wonder were you racing, um, Peter, or were you just um, just training? Kieran uh, says just thanks. training. Waiting just right next weekend, so just training. Brilliant. Oh, good. So you doing some sharp sharpening and race pace stuff, were you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel. You'll definitely feel it in your legs this morning. Great. Okay. What is Ken says? Um, was holding a bit back in. The was holding a bit back in the first part, but then it felt good. So negative splits in the second half. Well done. Well done. OK, and that's good to recognise that next time. Maybe have a little bit of Kate and a little bit of that and you'll get a perfect pyramid. OK, um, many thanks. Struggled with 24 splits, but then had much better at 22 at the end. Uh, so well done. Yeah, absolutely. My second half of my 22 was much more. Thanks, good, good start. Um, from Tim in Hampton. Thank you. Holding. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, I got I got that. Holding rather than holding. Honing. Honing works too, Karen. Um, Irene, thanks. Better pacing for me this time. Yeah, well done. The more you do it, the better you get. And um, Ola, um, thank you so much. Great to be back on the earth. Uh, Ola, it's lovely to have you. Great. Okay, so we're three minutes of time. Any questions? I know somebody just come on. Is anyone there who wants any questions? If not, I am going to hand us over to the lovely Lucy. Okay, great. Well, guys, it's been an absolute honour and a privilege paddling with you today. Um, and it is now daylight and we have made it through dawn. So thanks, Dawn Patrol. Right. Right, I am going to find Lucy. There is Lucy. Brilliant, Lucy. Right, I am gonna I think I'm going to try and make you host. Um, okay. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, I'm now the host, it says on my screen. Brilliant. Um, great, brilliant. So, Lucy, how are you? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, a really good weekend, actually. We have some very rare conditions out in Christchurch Harbour. Absolutely flat, calm. So all the river boats were out. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was on, the, on, on the actual sea bit or just on the bit behind the, the just behind the It's just behind the beach hut, so on the actual harbour bit. But it can get quite... It doesn't take much wind over tide to whip that up into white horses but we've been very fortunate over the last week and it's been flat water conditions so it's been lovely seeing all the crews out on the water and the boathouse empty and it's been great oh and it's a huge bit of water there it's been amazing um right what i've noticed is i've handed posts for you lucy a bit of technical stuff um yeah. and i'm the spotlight so do you want to remove me from being spotlight and turn yourself into being spotlight oh, crikey um can you find uh, spotlight? Oh yeah, there we go. Gosh. Um, yeah. yeah. Can you, can we have a bit of a thumbs up from guys? Have you seen Lucy as your spotlight? Yes. Thanks, Kate. Great. Okay. The floor is yours, Lucy. Thank you, Glenn. I'm going to start with a bit of a shout out. I've got my fellow boat of hope crewmates in. So if you can all give me a wave, because I know that you're all out there. Excellent. We're, we're taking part in the virtual race of the Thames, raising money for somebody will need to remind me of the charity. 
It's going to be Carol or Sam. Could you remind me of a charity? The Samaritans are in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> we all need reminding of the charity, but oh, we're London, London, London Youth Rowing. Oh, that's right, London Youth Rowing. I couldn't remember whether it was that, it was that or Bee Rowing. I know Zemo goes is doing one and we're doing the other with Boats of Hope. And um, I'll post the, just giving the link on my Twitter feed, so uh, on my Facebook page, so if you can find that and if you feel inclined, donate. Um, but this is the this is day one. So Gwyn's session this morning, there was a big chat in our boat of hope about who was going to join it to, to get to log our first kilometres. So I'll be, I expect somebody's just nipped off quickly to get their kilometres in first, but I'll be adding mine later today. So on to stretching. We're going to start today with the stretch, the stretch session that we've been doing for the past few weeks, where we've shifted our focus from glute max to um, glute med. And uh, we're going to stretch our hips and low back. So I can see some of you already ready to go. Flat on your backs on the mat. I'm going to show you. <laughs> So just check your positioning. So we're just going to check that we're equally weighted right side and left side, and we've got equal weight for our touch points, our heels, our bum and our shoulders. And then when you come to the shoulders, just squeezing those shoulder blades together and squashing your chin down. And then we're going to take some nice deep breaths here. So as you breathe in, feel the chest lift up. And then as you breathe out, just letting yourself sink into the mat and just enjoying the next 20 minutes of stretching, just allowing you, yourself permission to relax. As you breathe out, just feel yourself sinking below the level of the floor. And take that left knee to the chest. Take a deep breath in. Feel the chest lift up. And then as you breathe out, just fill in the back, flatten off into the mat, and then passively the knee should come to the chest. Then you're going to take the right, bend the right knee and plant the right foot on the floor. Just feel the corners with all, the, feel the ground with all four corners of your foot and just pressing down enough to resist the ground coming back at you. And then cross your left ankle over the top of your right knee. And then that might be enough of a stretch for your right glutes, but if not, just take your hands behind the back of your right thigh and bring the right thigh towards you. Or if you want to deepen the stretch further, just straighten that right leg up into the air. And then just check your, a couple of things to check. Check your right knee is pointing straight up at the ceiling. Check your squ chin squashed down and your shoulder blades are still squeezed. And then take a nice deep breath in. Hold for two. And then as you breathe out, just breathing out into that left glute. And again, when you're breathing out, just flattening the back up into the mat. Then we ground that right foot on the floor and take both arms out to the side. Just push out through those middle fingers to create some tension across your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, squash your chin down, and then just let that right knee fall out to the side. When the glute med isn't activating that muscle, quadratus lumborum in the left side of your body gets tight because it compensates. So this is a really good stretch to do to loosen that off. 
So as you breathe in, take a nice deep breath in, hold for two, and then long breath out from the left shoulder, down through the side, into the hip, along the thigh, and out through the knee. Just sinking into that stretch. And then unwind, plant both feet on the floor. And we're just going to move into the glute bridge set. So just bring your heels close to your bum as you can, switch your hamstrings off. So we're going to do three glute, um, three pelvic tilts. One, two, three, and then push up into glute bridge. So we're going to hold there for 10. Four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, bum back to the floor, bring your knees to your chest, and then we're going to do a nice little free bit of free physio, so have a little rock from side to side, do small circles with your knees, just to get a little bit of massage from the ground, and then just hold on to your right knee and just stretch that left leg out. And we're just going to stretch the, the right side. So take a nice deep breath in. Hold. And then as you breathe out, flattening the back off into the mat and just allowing that knee to come to you. I'm just in a moment to check my shoulders are squeezed, my chin still squashed down. And then that right knee, plant the left, sorry, bend the left knee and plant the left foot on the floor. Again, just filling the earth with all four corners of the foot and just pushing down enough to resist the ground coming back at you. Just take a nice deep breath there for a second. Just allowing a little bit of an extra stretch on that right side. You can tell that's my tight side. And then cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee. And again, that might be enough of a stretch for you. Or you can grab behind the back of your left thigh, bring your left thigh towards you. Or you can straighten that left leg up in the air. And we're checking the same points again. So checking the knee is pointing straight up at the ceiling. Shoulder blades are squeezed and the chin squashed down. And again, we're just gonna take a nice deep breath. So as you breathe in, your chest will lift up. And as you breathe out, just breathing into that right glute, allowing it to relax. Alter the position of that left knee. So if you let the foot go closer to the ground, it will take the pressure off, bringing the knee towards you to move deeper into the stretch. But only stretch the place that's comfortably uncomfortable for you. Then replant that left foot on the ground, stretch both arms out to the side, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together, squash the chin down, and then just let that left leg fall out to the side. So take a nice, Deep breath in, so breathing in from the tips of the finger to the center of the chest. Hold for two, and then a long breath out from the right shoulder along the side, into the hip, along the thigh, and out through the knee. Just allowing the relaxation to follow the breath. Just giving yourself permission here to just Sink into that stretch. And 
then unwind and replant both feet on the floor. The second of our two group bridges. So bring your heels as close to your bum as you can. We're going to do our three pelvic tilts. One, two, three, and then push up into glute bridge. Just take your thumbs, prod them in your bum, make sure you blend, your glutes are working. And then we're going to hold there for 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bum back to the floor, knees to the chest. A bit of free physio, so rocking back side to side or small circles with the knees. A free bit of low back massage. And then just take your hips to 90 degrees and your knees to 90 degrees, arms out to the side. And we're going to do our first bit of glute med work. So we're just going to roll from side to side. We'll do five each side. I'm going to go to the left first. So that's one. Two. Three. Four, five, and bring the knees back to the chest. And then we're going to move into your version of happy baby. So that can be rubbing behind the back of the thighs, mid shin, or if you can manage it, the outside of both feet. And again, just letting those shoulders relax, just taking minute to check that they're not up around your ears. And then take a nice deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, just flatten that back off into the mat and just allow gravity to bring your knees closer to the ground. And let go of the outside of your feet, cross your ankles, regrab the outside of your feet, and we're going to rock and roll up into a sitting position. Just taking a minute to make sure everybody's up and with me. Excellent. So from here, we're just going to do some spinal twisting. So take your left hand to your right knee, right arm goes back behind the back of the left glute, and then you look over your shoulder. And if, like me, you're sitting in a slump position, as you breathe in, just feel your low back extend and look back over your shoulder. As you breathe in, just see if you can stretch up. And as you breathe out, twist round. And come back to the center. And we'll do the other side. So right hand comes to the left knee, left hand goes behind the right glute. And again, we're going to stretch up through the low back and look over the left shoulder. Moving back to the center. Just stretch your legs out in front of you. Some hamstring stretching. So we're going to bring the sole of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Stretch both arms up in the air, bring them parallel to the mat, and then hinge forward from the hips and drop the hands. That's to make sure that when we're stretching forward, we're going to coming from the hips and not from the upper back. And again, just go to the position that's comfortable for you. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe, breathe in, just feeling yourself lifting up from the hips. And as you breathe out, just seeing if you can reach that little bit further forward by hinging further at the hips. And 
and now straighten both legs out in front. To the other side, bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, reaching up, drop the arms of the parallel with the mat, and then again, hinge forward from the hips. As you breathe in, feel your chest lift up. And as you breathe out, just hinging forward. And again, just checking those shoulder positions, just make sure they're not ended up around your ears. And then nice and dropped. And return to your cross-legged position. And whichever is your bottom leg, put that arm up in the air, bring it back behind your opposite glute, other hand goes up in the air, and then you're just going to twist round and into the downward dog. Just checking everybody's with us. Excellent. Now we're going to go back onto our heels into beast and rocket launch forward into plank. And we're going to do the next of our glute knee exercises, which is side plank dips. So I'm going to come onto my right side so that you can see me, and we're going to do five dips. So let the hips go to the floor and then come up one, two, if you want to drop that bottom knee because that'll make it easier, three, four, five, and then swap sides. And again, so I'm just going to show you with the bottom leg dropped. And then you can do five dips here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go back into plank. And walk back into downward dog. And then I'm going to extend the right leg up in the air. Swing it forward so it's outside the right hand, and you've got three options here. You can stay in that position, you can drop the back knee, or if you're feeling particularly flexible, you can come down onto your elbows for this hip opener. So again, just thinking about our breathing in a nice deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, just trying to sink into the stretch. And you can back up onto your hands and we're going to step back into downward dog. Just do a couple of pedals with the feet here just to stretch the calves out. And then we're going to bring that left leg up in the air, swing forward to the outside of the left hand. And again, same three options here. Stay in this position, onto the knee, or if you can manage it, down onto your elbows. I've got a sore knee on the right, so I'm going to stay in this position. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, sinking into the stretch. And then step back into downward dog. And then walk your hands up into standing. And we'll do the last of our glute knee exercises. I'm just going to alter my screen so that you can see me. So these are our air traffic controllers. So in this position, both hands up in the air and drop the left arm out to the side. And then we're going to do five hip abductions to the left. So taking the left leg out to the side. The key here is to keep this side in a straight line. So from here, we're going to go out to the side. One, two, nice and slowly. Three, four, five. Then both arms up in the air, drop the right arm. And then we're going to go out to the right, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four, 
five. Well then everyone, good session. Sam, I can see you logging the miles away there during that session. Well done. <laughs>